Listen up, folks. When it comes to keto, managing your carbs isn't just important. It's everything. It's the golden ticket, the secret sauce, the key to unlocking this whole keto thing. You're stepping into a world where you're retraining your metabolism, teaching it to burn fat for fuel instead of relying on those sugary carbs. And the way you do that is by keeping those carbs in check. Think of it like this. Carbs are like the gas pedal for sugar burning mode, and we want to slam on the brakes and switch to fat burning power. Got it? Let's dive in. All right, so what's the deal with carbs on keto anyway? Why is everyone talking about them and why do they seem to be the enemy on this diet? Why all the fuss about keeping them low? Let's dive into the science behind it. Here's the deal. When you eat carbs, your body breaks them down into sugar or glucose for energy. This is a quick and easy source of fuel for your body. This spikes your blood sugar levels, triggering the release of insulin, the hormone responsible for ushering that sugar into your cells to be used as fuel. Insulin is like a key that unlocks your cells to let the glucose in. Now on a standard diet, this is all well and good. Your body uses the glucose for energy and any excess is stored as fat for later use. But on keto, we're trying to shift our bodies into a state called ketosis. This is a metabolic state where your body becomes incredibly efficient at burning fat for energy instead of relying on glucose. This is where the magic happens. In ketosis, your body switches its fuel source from carbs to fats. In ketosis, your body becomes a fat burning machine breaking down fat stores into ketones to use as its primary energy source. Ketones are produced in the liver from fats and are a much more stable and long-lasting energy source. This metabolic shift is what leads to all those amazing keto benefits, like weight loss, increased energy, and mental clarity. When your body is in ketosis, it can tap into fat stores for energy, which can help you shed those extra pounds. Additionally, many people report improved mental clarity and focus. This is because ketones are a more efficient fuel for your brain, providing a steady supply of energy without the crashes associated with glucose. Another benefit of keeping carbs low is reduced inflammation and better blood sugar control. By avoiding the spikes and crashes in blood sugar levels, you can maintain more stable energy levels throughout the day. Over the long term, this can lead to improved overall health, including better heart health, reduced risk of type 2 diabetes, and even potential benefits for certain neurological conditions. So in summary, keeping carbs low on a ketogenic diet is crucial for entering and maintaining ketosis, which in turn unlocks a host of health benefits. It's not just about cutting carbs, it's about transforming the way your body uses energy. Embrace the ketogenic lifestyle, and you might just find yourself feeling better than ever before. It's a journey worth taking for your health and well-being. Okay, so we know carbs are limited on keto, but what's the magic number? How do you figure out the right amount of carbs to consume daily while staying in ketosis? Generally, you'll aim to keep your net carbs, that's total carbs minus fiber, around 20 to 50 grams per day. This range helps most people enter and maintain ketosis, the metabolic state where your body burns fat for fuel instead of carbohydrates. Now, I know that might sound crazy low, especially if you're used to a more carb-heavy diet. Transitioning from a diet rich in bread, pasta, and sugary snacks to one that limits carbs can be challenging at first. But trust me, it's doable. With a little planning and creativity, you can enjoy delicious meals that keep you within your carb limit. Think of it as an opportunity to explore new foods and recipes. And once you start experiencing the incredible benefits of keto, you'll be amazed at how easy it becomes to stick with it. Increased energy, mental clarity, and weight loss are just a few of the perks that can make the effort worthwhile. Remember, everyone's body is different. What works for one person might not work for another, so it's important to listen to your body and adjust your carb intake accordingly. Some people might need to stay closer to 20 grams to see the best results, while others can thrive with a bit more flexibility, perhaps closer to 50 grams. It's all about finding your sweet spot. The key is to find what works best for you. Experiment with different carb limits, track your progress, and pay attention to how you feel. Over time, you'll discover the optimal carb intake that helps you achieve your health goals while enjoying your meals. Here's the thing about carbs. Not all carbs are created equal, just like you wouldn't compare a plate of broccoli to a donut, right? You can't lump all carbs into the same category. On keto, we're all about those good-for-you nutrient-dense carbs, primarily from vegetables. Think leafy greens, broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, all those fiber-rich veggies that are low in carbs and packed with vitamins and minerals. Then you've got your starchy carbs like bread, pasta, rice, and sugary treats. 
These are the ones that spike your blood sugar and kick you out of ketosis. We're going to keep those to a minimum. Got it? Navigating hidden carb culprits. Okay, so you're diligently tracking your carbs, sticking to your macros like a boss. But here's the thing. Carbs can be sneaky little devils, hiding in places you'd never expect. You've got your obvious culprits like sugary drinks, processed snacks, and bread. But then there are those hidden carbs lurking in sauces, dressings, condiments, and even some medications. My advice? Become a label detective. Get in the habit of reading nutrition labels carefully, paying close attention to serving sizes and hidden sugars. Knowledge is power, people. Your Keto Carb Toolkit. Welcome to the ultimate guide to managing your carbs while on a keto diet. Don't worry, I'm not gonna leave you hanging. Navigating the world of carbs can be tricky, but with the right tools and mindset, you can master it. Here are a few of my top tips for keeping those carbs in check and rocking your keto journey. These strategies will help you stay on track and make the most out of your keto lifestyle. Embrace the power of tracking. One of the most effective ways to manage your carb intake is by tracking it diligently. Download a carb tracking app. There are many great apps available that can help you log your meals and monitor your daily carb intake. It'll become your new best friend, helping you stay accountable and make informed choices. By keeping a close eye on your carb consumption, you can avoid accidental slip-ups and stay within your daily limits. Prioritize protein and healthy fats. These macronutrients are essential for keeping you feeling full and satisfied, which in turn reduces those pesky carb cravings. Incorporate a variety of protein sources like meat, fish, eggs, and plant-based options. Healthy fats such as avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil should also be staples in your diet. Hydrate like a champ. Staying hydrated is crucial on a keto diet. Water is your best friend on keto, helping to flush out toxins and keep everything running smoothly. Aim to drink at least eight glasses of water a day and consider adding electrolytes to your water to maintain balance. Don't fear healthy fats. Embrace foods rich in healthy fats like avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil. These fats are not only delicious, but also provide the energy your body needs to function optimally on a keto diet. They're your fuel on keto. Including a variety of these fats in your meals will help you stay energized and satisfied throughout the day. Remember, this is a journey, not a race. It's important to be patient with yourself and understand that finding the right balance takes time. It's all about finding what works best for you and your body. Experiment with different foods, listen to your body's signals, and adjust your diet as needed. With these tips and a bit of perseverance, you'll be well on your way to keto success. Listen to your body. Here's the thing about keto, or any lifestyle change for that matter. It's not about being perfect. It's about listening to your body and finding what feels right for you. Your body is incredibly intelligent, and it will tell you what it needs if you pay attention. So, how do you tune in? Start by paying attention to how you feel after you eat. Are you energized and focused after a meal low in carbs? Or do you feel sluggish and crave sugar? Do you notice a difference in your digestion or sleep patterns when you're on point with your carb intake? Plateaus and troubleshooting. Let's talk about plateaus, those frustrating times when the scale seems stuck and you're not seeing the progress you're used to. Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. First things first, don't panic. It's perfectly normal to hit plateaus on your keto journey. Your body is a complex machine and sometimes it needs a little nudge to keep things moving. Take a look at your carb intake. Are you being as strict as you were when you first started? Sometimes even a slight increase in carbs can stall your progress. Remember, consistency is key. Keto and exercise a dynamic duo. Let's talk about exercise, shall we? Keto and exercise, they're like the dynamic duo of fat burning and body transformation. Here's the thing. When you're on keto, your body is already primed to burn fat for fuel. Add exercise to the mix and you're taking things to a whole new level. But here's the key. You wanna choose workouts that complement your keto lifestyle. Think strength training, height, high-intensity interval training, and low-impact activities like yoga or Pilates. Embracing the Keto Lifestyle Keto is so much more than just a diet. It's about making sustainable lifestyle changes that support your overall health and well-being. It's about nourishing your body with real whole foods that make you feel your best. It's about finding joy in movement and honoring your body's need for rest and recovery. And you know what? It's also about being kind to yourself, embracing the journey, and celebrating your wins along the way. Ready to rock your keto journey? So there you have it, your complete guide to mastering carb intake on keto. Remember, it's all about finding what works best for you, listening to your body, and making sustainable changes that you can stick with for the long haul.
Now tell me, what's your biggest takeaway from this keto carb guide? Are you ready to put this knowledge into action and rock your keto journey? Let's do this.